Come. Hi, welcome back to another episode of Bella Oli Frenchy. It has been so long and we finally done with our moving and our renovation. So today we are going to come up with a new video. Today we are going to talk about skin issues, allergies and what can we do to alleviate the problem. Frenchies are a breed well known to have skin issues among other medical conditions and for a few months now, Bella has been scratching quite intensively on her underbelly and Ollie has been licking at his paws so we decided to bring them to see Dr. Lee at Gentle Oaks. This is a picture of Bella's underbelly and groin area a few weeks back. I apologize that we do not have more pictures. It has gotten quite bad that her continuous scratching has caused some bleeding on the underbelly and uh, we have to make her wear t-shirt at home but as long as well, we remove the t-shirt before we go to walk she starts scratching crazily again so um, a little intervention is needed and uh, we brought her to see a vet Dr. Lee was highly recommended by the Frenchie community in Singapore so we decided to give her a try along with some supplements and medication she has also recommended some homemade remedy yeah, so um, this is what we are going to share with you today. Dr. Lee says that a lot of dogs have sensitive skin and this causes environmental allergies. These environmental allergies can be caused by anything in the environment. So when we bring them out for a walk, they get exposed to the grass, to the uh, pollen of the flower, and when they are at home, uh, maybe some dust. Yeah. So what Dr. Lee suggests is after bath, we rinse them very thoroughly and then we give them a good uh, rub down of a homemade solution. So today we are going to be talking about the homemade solution and it only comprises of two ingredients. The first one is chamomile tea and the second one will be apple cider vinegar. Chamomile tea can help soothe the skin of our Frenchies. So what I'm going to do today is to use a tea bag. Oops, came off. And I will use this measuring cup, half a cup of water. So we're just going to let it soak for about 5 to 10 minutes. It has been about 10 minutes and I think the tea leaves have um, already infused into the water so we get to see this uh, yellowish color tea so I'm going to remove the tea leaves and next up will be apple cider vinegar so you can buy this from any uh, grocery store and apple cider vinegar is slightly acidic with a pH range of 3 to 5 so what Dr. Lee says that it is good for is that um, it will inhibit the growth of yeast. So similarly, we are going to be do a 50-50 mixture. So half a cup of apple cider vinegar. No. Give it a good swirl and this is the mixture that we are going to use and what I have here is a spray bottle so we're going to put it into a spray bottle and the reason why I use half a cup plus half a cup to make just this amount of solution is so that I can keep it fresh And we're ready. So they're ready to go for their walks.
So they are back home from their walk and it's very important that after every walk we have to wash them down in order to get away the um, dirt and the pollens and all these things that will cause their environmental allergies. So they are really thirsty and, and they like to drink water like that. So getting down to the wash, this is how I will wash and eat. So I will use my thumb and I will go into each of the knuckles and I will you have to wash the bottom where there is a there's a hole in case um, there are any dirt that's stuck in between. Let me the me the other Okay, you will use the and then the back. And then I will wash the butt hole and the bottom. Then the underbelly and the armpits. So it's the same. And then I'll lift his leg up and um, wash his underneath and try to get on the inside. Okay. And then the underbelly and the armpits. So next up, uh, I'll use a clean towel and this is the bottle spray of the mixture of the chamomile tea and the apple cider vinegar. What other YouTubers are just was to pull them up and spray the underneath but um, because of our marble towels, so we don't want the, the acidic mixture to land on the towel because it is bad for marble towels. So what I'm going to do is I will use the towel and I will spray it on the towel maybe about like uh, 10 times. Yeah. So now it's uh, soaked with the apple cider vinegar mixture. And come on, give me your popcorn. Good boy. And then I will rub it in, in between his toes. And at the, on the underneath. This part. So the other one. And then I will use um, the towel to get in the armpits and the underbelly. So the acidic uh, nature of this mixture will deter the, ye the yeast from growing underneath. And boy, you are good. So next up is Bella. Okay, so next we have Bella. And I'm going to use another part of the towel just give it a good hand squeezes. Okay. And we're done. So after every wash, um, I will wash down the towel with uh, soap or I will use a new towel. So this is to make it uh, clean so that right after every walk right I use a clean towel to wipe my bodies down. So this is what we need to do to help alleviate the uh, environmental allergies problem of our fur kids. And if they still continue to itch and scratch then probably we have ruled out the environmental issue and maybe they are allergic to food. 
So um, you can speak to your vet about it for uh, food allergies. All right, and um, if you haven't subscribed to our channel, Bella Oli Frenchie, do subscribe and we'll come up with new videos. Give us a thumbs up and we'll see you in the next video. Bye!